uh, good morning everyone uh, in today's class we will discuss on mass maintenance uh, it means like uh, mass maintenance of material master vendor master so if you working as an sap consultant or mdm team uh, mass maintenance is one of the main concept which you should know uh, as a consultant and uh, what the requirement of uh, knowing mass maintenance uh, scenarios uh, will be like uh, Uh, you have like master records like material master vendor master tir uh, and even have the transaction data like uh, pr po uh, and you have so many transaction data and so many master data we have in sap ml so uh, few of the data uh, maybe by the mdm team or some of the users they have created wrongly uh, which which is like bulk load uh, for example in the material master uh, the purchasing group in the material master is uh, Uh, maintain as a uh, uh, respective group and uh, after the some time we'll get to know that the material group the purchasing group has been wrong which is maintained by the mdm team uh, which is maintained for uh, around uh, 50000 materials and you got to know that uh, the the purchasing group was updated wrongly as an sap consultant you should advise the solution to the mdm team or else uh, you need to advise to the client that uh, how can you change the purchasing group Uh, which will affect the purchasing group by uh, which within the last time within the last time you need to change the purchasing group how can you make these changes uh, it's like uh, you can't create it's like uh, you can't take too much of time to uh, change the purchasing group manually and uh, for this purpose you do have the concept like mass maintenance this can be used for the so many concepts in the uh, mm not only for the material master you can use for the material master along with that you can use for the vendor master pir source list also you can use along with that you can have for uh, pr po so what are the data that we have i will show you what for what and all you can change that uh, mass maintenance so uh, as i mentioned you this is the master data uh, and also this one you can see like purchasing documents you can uh, change the data immediately uh, without any uh, losing other data you can change this data effectively but if you want to change this data uh, a few of the data then we need to go for a prerequisites like if you want to change the unit of measurement uh, for the unit of measurement if you want to change there should not be any stock for the material and for the purchasing group there is no dependency on anything so uh, you can uh, change the purchasing group but uh, uh, coming to the base unit of measure or unit of measure or else uh, any other data that you want to change uh, you need to see where the stock lying for the material or any anything is affecting uh, history is affecting or not so if anything if anything is affecting you need to change those uh, affects uh, before ch changing the uh, this data i think you got it uh, as i told you example that uh, if you want to change the uh, uh, metal master uh, evaluation class or else uh, a pricing value indicator like a price indicator uh, moving price to standard price and all you have the valuation stock will be there if the valuation stock is there you can't change the uh, price indicator or else the valuation classes and all for that reason you need to go over first you need to remove the stock to uh, some uh, a cost center you can move the cost uh, you can move the stock to the cost center or else you can move the uh, stock to the scrap anything uh, as per the requirement and after that you can change the uh, data and after that you can reload the data okay so there is some dependency uh, for the some fields are there and uh, you need to go for to all prerequisites and you need to see all prerequisites before doing the mass maintenance and now i will show you that uh, mass maintenance for the material master how can we maintain the mass maintenance uh, let's take we'll take an example like uh, for material master uh, uh, for purchasing group for uh, we'll create five materials and five materials uh, uh, is like a purchasing group will maintain as 000 we'll maintain like 000 and uh, and we will change uh, to 001 through mass maintenance okay and the same like that however however how i told for metal master you can see do for the uh, remaining all these things 
but i will show you the uh, field stay course and how uh, how to maintain for all those things but you can practice for the uh, remaining four things now i'll share my sap screen and for this uh, as i told you we need to create five materials uh, for the five materials we need to change the purchasing group first select the uh, first create uh, mm01 uh, material master i am creating for our voyage for 1000 plant function like uh, test one So purchasing group, what we are maintaining, we are maintaining triple zero. The material number is double two zero eight. Okay, and we'll create a uh, three more materials. Test three. So we created three middles: double two zero eight two, double two one zero. Okay. Now, for these three middles, what is the unit of measurement we created? The unit of measurement we made. I will show you next. The metal we get is double two zero eight and double two zero nine and double two one zero. Purchasing unit is triple zero for both the for all the three we get it. One minute. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Need to maintain like. Uh, sorry. Okay, you can see here we created three materials, and for three materials, the purchasing group we maintain is triple zero. Now we need to change the new mat new purchasing group, new PER group. So we should maintain like double zero one. Let me go and maintain it. So one minute. Double zero. Sorry. Double zero one. Okay. The material, the whole purchasing group is triple zero. 
and the new purchasing group is double zero one so before changing this uh, purchasing group i want to tell a few concepts for you that uh, uh, field names and uh, table names uh, how can you uh, see that uh, field name and table name and this is the mandatory for uh, 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 to change that purchasing group in the mass maintenance uh, where is the purchasing group uh, maintained in the material master it is maintained in the purchasing data okay <coughs> One minute. You can see here the purchasing group. The purchasing group is there. So where is the purchasing group maintained in the material master? In the in the purchasing view at the plant level. So if you want the plant level in the material master, what is the uh, table name you are using? You are using the table name as M A R C. M A R C is for the a uh, table name for the material master plan data okay and now i'll show you how to change the uh, this purchasing group in the material master data now uh, few the t codes i will tell you where we can change this one so for material master we have the t code mm 17 okay and for vendor master we have t code xk 77 okay and i will show you like uh, if you if you don't know the t codes uh, for par sources and all you can go to the mass t code mass t code where you can see all all t codes i mean like uh, no, all uh, data all data for mass maintenance okay okay you can go to mass sql and you can see the uh, all the all the data par source list and everything you can see there Now I will show you for the material master. With what is the T code for the material material master? MM seventeen. Slash N MM seventeen. Just click on this one, and MM seventeen is for the material master. Okay, and uh, if you see here the table name, you can see here. Okay. So, which view you are uh, you are, you want you want to make a changes for which view you want to make a changes? Here, see Mara. Mara is for the general master data. It's like general material data, like basic data one, basic data two is there, right? So, Mara is the table name. MAKT is like the description you maintain for the material that if you want to change, you can change in MAKT. And MARC, as I told you, this is like plan data on the material master. MBW is like valuation of the material master, accounting data. MARD is for the storage location data, unit of measurement. So all the table names you can see here. But now we want MARC, okay, which is plan data, and in the purchasing group. Just click on this one. Uh, this warning message will come that once you maintain this all this data, as an immediate effect will be there for all the materials. Just ensure you are changing the data. So we need to maintain the material here. What are the material here? Double two zero eight two double two one zero double two zero eight two double two one zero. Okay, you can maintain the plant also here if required. Okay, uh, as we created this material only for this plant, uh, the, then uh, it's okay, fine, not to maintain the plant. But if you have this material for uh, n number of plants, uh, and if you want to, if you are changing for only for the specific uh, uh, plants, then you need to maintain the plant. Here you can see two options like data record to be changed and data record record to be created. If you want to create any data for the material, then you can create in this field. If you want to change any data for this uh, material symbol, then you can change the data here. Just execute here. So once you execute, it will take you this field where mass maintenance where you can you can maintain. You can see one more options here. Some few of the fields you can see here, which is like select fields. You select the table name like M A R C. In MARC, you need to select the field name. Which field you are changing? Which field you are changing? 
purchasing group field we are changing okay here once you click on this icon fields icon you will get this pop up icon okay we you need to select the fields here you need to select the purchasing group the purchasing group will be maintained search for the purchasing group we have all the fields in the plan data but select for the purchasing group alphabetical by c you can see purchasing group okay purchasing group is there just select on the okay icon and that's it okay so you can see a purchasing group maintained for all the three materials is triple zero okay now what we need to maintain we need to change it to double zero one as per the requirement we need to change it to double zero one so here maintain double zero one select this icon select this field this column and we have one field here carry out mass change field will be there carry out a mass change just select on this field so that whatever the data you selected it will be changing for all this data so if you have final line items for final line items it will change for it will change to final line items to double zero one so once you change this one you need to click on this icon which is like testing test changes what are the whatever you make changes it is changing or not okay you can see it is changing and it is showing like test mode active no changes saved it is it means like it is a test not a real and just come back again select this data and now just save the data you can see here you want to change the changes this will take an immediate effect so it will take an immediate effect in changing the purchasing group just click on s yes. so the data has been changed you can see the green mark here which means that the data has been changed now go to the material master check whether it is changed or not slash an mm02 double two one zero go to the purchasing view of the material master you can see here double zero one what we maintain we maintain triple zero if you want to see the changes slash and go to mm04 double two one zero is the material plan to maintain as thousand and click on display changes and you can see here and then zero two okay fine click on this uh, this one the old value is triple zero the new value is double zero one purchasing group who changed this one the sap user has been changed this one i am the cha user changing change this one okay you can see in mm04 this one okay now i will show you like uh, how to change the vendor master pir and all what is the t code i told you to uh, go for all the mass carry out changes go to the mass t code where you can see the objects like uh, material master vendor master pr source disk whatever the data we have it will show here see here the object type materials industry material business pattern means vendor uh, mass maintenance purchase orders uh, purchasing contract sales order purchase requisition pir okay gl icons customer vendor okay you can see the business pattern okay business pattern means vendor just click on execute it means vendor okay fine one more wait there are some changes in the s4 on this one okay see you can see here all the vendor master details all the table names of the vendor master you can see here okay uh, this is like vendor master same like this if you want to uh, do for the uh, uh, pir and all you can go and you can search here pir and all purchase info record contract purchase orders for what and all data you want to make any changes you can make all changes in the master records okay and uh, thank you guys thank you if you have any doubts uh, just comment in the video section i will be responding to the questions thanks a lot guys